Well, it's interesting that animal welfare science only actually came into it later. It was suddenly when I had finished my first degree and I was looking for a topic for my graduate degree, for my PhD, there was a lot of criticism of intensive animal production. And I thought, maybe we can use animal behavior as a window into how the animal is feeling. And th that's really how I started. And the more I found out about how animals feel, the more passionate I, I grew about that and trying to find out more and more. And by studying that, finding, trying to find out if there were better ways, in fact, in which we could keep the animals that we use. I think the more that you, you get to know about animals, the more you realize actually how similar they are to ourselves and that they're being, they're being driven, they have experiences, they, they, they can be frightened, they can be in pain, they can be frustrated, they can be bored. All the sorts of experiences that we have, it seems that these experiences are open to animals as well. And by studying their behavior, we can help to improve their lives, give them a better quality of lives. And that really gives me a great deal of satisfaction.